welcome to my youtube channel this video is about the c++ logical operator which is the continuation of topic 11 upon completion of this video you could be able to identify the truth value of the given expression so recap lang tayo kung ano nga ba si c++ logical operators so when we said c++ logical operators it is used to check whether an expression is true or false. So, ito yung mga operator na ginagamit sa logical operators. So, meron tayong logical and, logical or, and the logical not. Pag gumamit kayo ng logical and, for example, expression 1 and expression 2, pag ang isang expression ay nag-false, automatic, the given expression is equivalent to false. Pag gumamit naman kayo ng or, for example, expression 1 or expression 2, kahit isa lang sa dalawang expression na to ang mag-true, automatic, ang expression ninyo is magiging true. Then we have here the not. Pag naglagay kayo ng not, ng not sa isang expression, gagawin niya yung kabaligtaran nun na equivalent niya. So for example, ang expression nyo is equivalent to true at ninat mo siya. Therefore, not true is equivalent to false. So, tignan natin yung truth table ng logical operators. So, ito yung truth tables ng logical operators. Merong end or, tsaka not. So, ang titignan nyo dito yung truth table ng logical operators. Pag end, if the two expression is true, magiging true ang expression ninyo. If yung isang expression is true, at yung isa ay nag-false, the given expression will turn to false. Kasi may nag-false. Another din dito, pag false and true, false pa din. Kasi nga may false na statement o expression. Then false and false, automatic. False ang magiging expression. So in short, if you are using end operator, isa lang na mag-false, automatic the given expression will turn into false. Another is or. So... Pag true or true, true ang magiging expression niya. Pag true or false, true pa din. Kasi nga si or, pag once sa may isang expression na nag-true, ibig sabihin true yung expression. Then we have here false or true, ibig sabihin yan, true pa din. Kasi nga may isa, may isa siyang true o may nag-true sa kadalawang expression. So true ang magiging answer. Then we have false and false, it is equivalent to false. The next naman is the logical operator, yung not. So, we have here, for example, may expression kayo, expression A. Ninat nyo yung expression A. If the given expression is true, magiging false. If the given expression is false, magiging true. So, try natin ngayong mag-solve ng, ng mga expression. And let's identify the truth value ng mga given expression na to. So, ang una is 4 greater than 3. And 2 is equal to 3. So, ngayon niya identify natin yung truth table nito. So, yung 4 ba is greater than 3, true or false? So, this is true. Kasi si 4 mas malaki sa 3. Then, we have here now the 2 is equal equal to 3. Yung 2 ba equal to 3? So, this is false. So, lagi yung tatandaan na pag nagsosolve kayo o pag gumagamit kayo ng nagkocompose kayo ng logical operator o nagre-read kayo ng logical operator o nagsosolve kayo ng mga expression na gumagamit ng logical operator, lagi nyo munang titignan yung nasa loob ng parenthesis o lagi nyo titignan yung nasa parenthesis kung ano yung nasa loob. Always remember din na ang inuuna lagi ay yung nasa loob ng expression. So, true ang naging sagot, false ang naging sagot, then end, ka-end siya. So, true and false, the value will be false. Kasi nga, may nag-false na isang expression. So, false ang magiging sagot. So, let's move naman sa problem number 2. So, 5 is lesser than or equal to 5. This is true. Kasi nga, ang value ninyo, pwede siya mag-start sa 5. Pwede siya mag-start sa kaparehas niya kasi gumamit siya dito ng equal. Then, maglalagay tayo ng or. Then, gagamitin na natin ito. O gagasikasay na natin to So, si 6 ba is greater than or equal to 2? True or false? So, this is true. Kasi nga, si 6 is mas malaki sa 2. Then, ngayon, titignan ninyo, nakanat yung parenthesis o yung given expression na to So, nakanat itong sagot niya. So, nakanat pa ito. 
expression na to. So, therefore, aasikasuhin mo ulit siya. Then, true or anong magiging sagot dito? Magiging false. So, therefore, true or false, ang magiging sagot dito ay true. Kasi gumamit siya ng or. Ang ibig sabihin kasi ng or, if one of the given statement is true, ibig sabihin ang expression ay magiging true. So, let's move on example number 3. Um, lagi yung tatanda ng unang sinosol lagi ay yung mga nasa loob na expression. So, unahin muna natin yung expression na 7 lesser than 8. Yung 7 ba lesser than 8? So, true. Kasi all value na lesser than 8 such as 7, 6, 5, pababa, will give an expression of true. Then, end. Gumamit naman siya ng greater than. Yung 5 ba greater than 2? So, this is true. Kasi yung 5 mas, mal mas malaki sa 2. So, kung makikita ninyo, nasolve na natin ito. Nasolve na natin ito. Then, next we have here another parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung makukuha nating value dito, inanat niya. So, therefore, we have here like this. Then, the not value. Then, ang gagawin ulit, isosolve nyo ulit yung nasa loob ng close and open parenthesis. So, true and true is equal to true. Then, nakanat siya. So, ibig sabihin, not true is equivalent to false. So, the answer would be false. Ito naman yung sample na kung saan variable ang ginagamit nyo in terms of identifying that truth value of the expression. So, for example, we have A is equal equal to C. B is lesser than A. So, ang una nyo gagawin pag ganito na variable ang nakalagay sa expression ninyo, i-identify nyo muna kung ano yung value niya. So, nakuha na natin yung value ng variable. Ngayon, is pwede na natin silang isolve. So, equal sign, unahin lagi natin yung nasa parenthesis. Then, 10 equal equal to 2. So, ang 10 ba equal to 2? So, this is false. Or, ang 4 ba is lesser than 10? So, this is true. Kasi ang 4 mas maliit sa 10. False or true, the answer would be true. Kasi, kahit isang given statement o expression na mag-true, automatic the whole expression become true. So, true ang magiging final answer natin. So, sabihin natin dito, maglalagay tayo ng not. So, ibig sabihin, pag naglagay tayo ng not dyan na value, automatic, sasabay din dito, may not na rin siyang value. Ngayon, ang susunod yung gagawin, isosolve ulit natin to. Yung 10 ba equal to 2? So, this is false. Or, Yung 4 ba lesser than 10? So, this is true. Pero may not siya. So, ibig sabihin, not true. Then, the equivalent would be false or false. So, if you are using or, ibig sabihin yan, titignan niya yung left and right expression o yung both expression, wala siyang nakitang true. O walang isang true. So, therefore, the answer would be false. Then, then, let's move to the last example. So, meron tayong... So, this is the um, solution for number 5. So, ang una nyo titignan muna o solve yung nasa loob ng expression. So, for example, from the given, ito, bago mo muna isolve ito, yan yung gamit ng parenthesis for you to identify kung sino yung magkasama o magkagrupo. For example, from the given, hindi dahil sa magkatabi ang A is equal equal to B and B is greater than C, ay sila na ang isosolve natin. Sa so, lagi nating tatandaan, na to the use of parenthesis, ma-identify ninyo kung sino yung mga magkakasama o sino yung nasa iisang expression. So, for example, ito, Nasa loob siya ng parenthesis, therefore, it is counted as one expression. Then, bago mo i-combine sa another expression ito, isosolve mo muna yung nasa loob niya. So, we have here, C greater than or equal to B. So, the value of C is 2. Si 2 ba is greater than or equal to 4? So, this is 4 for B. So, false kasi nga ang 2 is not greater than false then we have here end ulit the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 4 yung 10 ba equal to 4 so this is false 
kasi hindi naman sila magkamuka. Then, or, si B ba, which is 4, greater than 2. So, the value of C is 2. So, this is true. Kasi mas malaki ang 4 sa 2. Then, after nyan, pwede mo nang isolve ito. So, false and false, therefore, the answer would be false. Or, so the value of true, so therefore, our answer is true. Because, gumamit siya ng or na logical operators. Music